Hi, this is Peg from the International Kitchen. Today I'm going to talk about one of my very favorite things about traveling to Italy on a culinary vacation, eating out. Let's face it, eating out is one of the highlights of all our culinary tours. We're foodies just like you. We love to try new restaurants and dining experiences, whether that's a street food tour in Vietnam or a two-star Michelin restaurant in France. We love eating out in the States, too, and it's one of the things we've missed most during COVID. But eating out in Italy? It's just so much fun. Today we'll give you a few tips about eating out in Italy so that you're ready for your next trip. First, how do you find good places to eat? Our cooking vacations and culinary tours in Italy include most of your meals, and we carefully select the places you dine out. But there are usually one or two meals that are on your own, which gives you a chance to explore and find something to suit your own preferences. We recommend asking the locals for advice. This could be the concierge of your hotel or your local host. It could be people on the street. Italians are friendly. Many eateries, but not all, will require reservations. So if you have a specific spot in mind, remember to plan ahead. There are tons of restaurants in Italy. If you want a quick lunch, you can hop into a bar, what we would call a cafe, or a tavola calda, which is sort of like a cafeteria. Or try the pizza rustica, also called pizza a taglio, the Italian version of pizza by the slice. They prepare large, rectangular, or oblong pizzas of all different types, and you pay by the weight for whatever you select. They'll wrap up your slice in paper, and you eat it on the street, the original Roman street food. For dinner, if you want a more casual dining experience, a pizzeria is still a good bet. This is where you'll get the round, wood-fired pizzas for which Italy is so famous. Or try Trattoria or Osteria. These are both typically smaller and more casual eating establishments, and often have no fixed menu, but one that varies each day. You might also try an Enoteca, which is basically a wine bar, although many do serve some light fare. If you want a more formal dining experience, a ristorante is your best bet. You'll find table linens, sommelier, more extensive menus, and higher-end service. Don't stress about choosing among all these options, though. You can find amazing food and wine at all of them. It just depends on what you're in the mood for and what your budget will allow. We also usually recommend finding places off the beaten path. If you're dining right in front of the Colosseum, in front of St. Peter's or in Piazza Navona, you are more likely to get a tourist experience than an authentic local one, and you'll pay more as well. That being said, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes the scenery is just so good, you're willing to pay more and put up with a tourist menu. You know what your priorities are. Something else to note, you may pay more for dining outside, especially if it's in a famous piazza. And in a bar, which again is basically a cafe, you will pay more for sitting down at all. But let's face it, an espresso doesn't take long to drink, which is why you'll see Italians popping in and having one at the counter several times a day. Another tip, don't expect things to be like at home. Don't expect spaghetti and meatballs on the menu, or baked ziti. Don't expect butter to be served with your bread or ice in your water. This isn't a foreign country. Enjoy the differences. You may have heard you should never order a cappuccino after noon, and certainly for Italians that is the rule. A cappuccino is a breakfast beverage. But it's your trip, so order one when you want. Just know that you're bucking the norm if you do so. A couple more tips. Remember that there are different cultural norms. Don't ask for salt if it's not on the table. Don't ask for a doggy bag. And don't ask for Parmesan if you're eating a fish or seafood dish. But do ask the server to bring the bill when you're finished. They would consider it rude to bring it if you haven't yet asked for it. If you follow our tips, you'll set yourself up for success when dining out in Italy. But ultimately, it's your taste you have to please. So wander around until you find a place that appeals to you. Order seasonal or daily dishes. Try the house wine. Ask the server for recommendations. Don't be afraid to try new things. And the best tip? Enjoy it. Enjoy one of the best things in the world, the experience of dining out in Italy. See more travel tips and find out all about our cooking vacations and culinary tours on our website, www.theinternationalkitchen.com. Thank <laughs> you.